Electric motors are everywhere. They are the hidden force behind many of the conveniences we enjoy daily. They power our world in ways we often overlook. From the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed, electric motors are silently at work, making our lives easier and more efficient. Think about a typical day. You might not realize it, but electric motors are involved in almost every aspect of your routine. You wake up to the whir of your electric alarm clock or phone. That gentle buzz is the first sign of an electric motor at work. You blend a smoothie, the motor effortlessly crushing ice. The powerful motor inside your blender makes quick work of turning solid ice into a smooth, delicious drink. You hop on an electric scooter, feeling the wind in your hair as the motor propels you forward. The smooth, silent operation of the scooter's motor provides a convenient and eco-friendly way to travel. Electric motors are the unsung heroes of our modern lives. They are found in countless devices and tools working tirelessly behind the scenes. But how do these amazing machines actually work? What is the secret behind their ability to transform electrical energy into mechanical motion? They seem almost magical, transforming invisible electrical energy into motion. Fear not, dear reader, the science behind electric motors is both fascinating and accessible. The principles behind electric motors are surprisingly simple. At their core, they rely on the interaction between electricity and magnetism. We can break them down into bite-sized pieces, easy enough for anyone to understand. By examining the basic components and their functions, we can demystify the operation of electric motors. This essay will be your guide to the fascinating world of electric motors. We'll explore the science, the engineering, and the practical applications of these incredible devices. We'll journey from the basics of electricity and magnetism to the ingenious design of the motor itself. You'll learn how these fundamental principles are harnessed to create motion. By the end of this adventure, you'll be able to look at an electric motor with a newfound appreciation for the wonders of science and engineering. You'll understand the intricate dance of electrons and magnetic fields that power our world. So buckle up and get ready for an electrifying ride. Together we'll uncover the secrets of the ubiquitous electric motor and celebrate the marvels of modern technology. To understand electric motors, we need to start with the basics of electricity. Electricity is a fundamental part of our daily lives, powering everything from our homes to our gadgets. But what exactly is electricity? And how does it work? Electricity is all about the flow of tiny particles called electrons. These electrons move through materials, creating what we know as electric current. This flow is essential for the operation of countless devices and systems. Think of electrons like water flowing through a pipe. Just as water needs a path to flow, electrons need a conductor, like a wire, to move through. The pipe is like an electrical circuit, a closed loop that allows electrons to travel. In a circuit, electrons move from one point to another, creating a continuous flow of electric current. Just like water needs pressure to flow, electrons need something called voltage to push them along. Voltage is the force that drives electrons through a circuit, much like water pressure drives water through pipes. Voltage is like the electrical pressure that pushes electrons through the circuit. Without voltage, electrons wouldn't move, and we wouldn't have electric current. We measure voltage in volts. A voltmeter is a tool used to measure the voltage in a circuit, helping us understand the electrical potential difference between two points. The higher the voltage, the stronger the push. Higher voltage means more force driving the electrons, resulting in a greater flow of electric current. Now, imagine the amount of water flowing through the pipe. This is similar to electric current, which is the flow of electrons. The more electrons flowing, the higher the current. This is similar to electric current, which is the flow of electrons. Current is the rate at which electrons flow through a circuit, and it's a crucial aspect of how electrical systems operate. Current is measured in amperes or amps for short. An ammeter is a device used to measure the current in a circuit, giving us insight into the flow of electrons. Here's an important point. We often talk about conventional current flow, which is from the positive terminal of a battery to the negative terminal. This concept helps us understand and design electrical circuits. However, electrons actually flow in the opposite direction. This is because electrons are negatively charged and move towards the positive terminal. It's a bit confusing, but just remember that conventional current is a historical convention. It was established before the discovery of the electron and the understanding of its negative charge. What matters most is understanding that electricity involves the flow of charge, and that flow is what makes electric motors possible. Electric motors convert electrical energy into mechanical energy, allowing us to power machines and devices that make our lives easier and more efficient. 
from household appliances to industrial machinery, electric motors are everywhere. They are an essential part of modern technology, driving innovation and progress in countless fields. As technology advances, electric motors continue to evolve, becoming more efficient and powerful. Understanding the basics of circuits and current flow is the first step in appreciating the incredible potential of electric motors and the role they play in our world. Now let's talk about magnets. These fascinating objects have intrigued humans for centuries, and their applications are vast and varied. Magnets are objects that produce an invisible force called magnetism. This force is what makes magnets so special and useful in our everyday lives. This force can attract or repel certain materials like iron, nickel, and cobalt. When you sprinkle iron filings around a magnet, you can see the filings align themselves along the magnetic field lines. Every magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. These poles are where the magnetic force is strongest, like poles repel each other, while opposite poles attract. This is a fundamental property of magnets and is crucial for many of their applications. You can visualize the magnetic force as invisible lines of force called magnetic field lines. These lines help us understand how the magnetic force is distributed around a magnet. These lines flow out of the north pole and into the south pole, forming a loop. This loop is continuous and shows the direction of the magnetic force. The closer the lines, the stronger the magnetic field. This is why the magnetic force is strongest at the poles of a magnet. Magnets are essential for electric motors because they provide the force that makes things move. Without magnets, many of the devices we rely on every day wouldn't function. Think about playing with magnets as a kid. You might have been fascinated by how they could pick up paper clips or push each other away. Remember the invisible force pushing or pulling them together? That force is what makes magnets so intriguing and fun to play with. That's the magic of magnetism at work. It's an invisible force that can have a powerful effect on the world around us. Now imagine harnessing that force to power machines. From household appliances to industrial machinery, magnets play a crucial role in making things work. That's exactly what electric motors do, and it all starts with a special kind of magnet, the electromagnet. Electromagnets can be turned on and off, making them incredibly versatile for various applications. Electromagnets are used in scrapyards to lift heavy metal objects in medical devices like MRI machines and even in maglev trains that float above the tracks. The applications of magnets are truly endless, and their ability to create motion and generate force is what makes them so indispensable in modern technology. So the next time you see a magnet, remember the incredible power it holds and the countless ways it impacts our lives. The magic of magnets is all around us, making our world a more dynamic and fascinating place. An electromagnet is a magnet that can be turned on and off with electricity. How does it work? It's simple, but ingenious. If you wrap a wire around a piece of iron, like a nail, and pass an electric current through the wire, the iron becomes magnetized. It becomes an electromagnet. The more turns of wire you add, or the stronger the current you pass through, the stronger the electromagnet becomes. But here's the really cool part. As soon as you switch off the current, the iron loses its magnetism. This ability to create and control magnetic fields at will is what makes electromagnets so useful in electric motors. Imagine having a magnet that you can turn on and off like a light switch. That's the power of an electromagnet. And it's this power that allows us to create rotating motion, the key to making electric motors work.